Coming up next on The Jeff Curley Show, no one wants to pay more than their fair share of taxes. We'll be talking to a leading national expert, and she's going to give us some rock-solid tax tips. That's next. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Curley, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is The Jeff Crilly Show. Well, every day we're reading stuff in the news about how our taxes are going to go up. And obviously, I encourage everybody to pay their taxes, but you don't have to pay more than your fair share. To talk about that today, a leading national expert, Susan Bryant. She's with MB Group. Thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, thanks for, have, thanks for having me on, Jeff. I really appreciate it. Glad to be here. Well, I want to hear your journey before we get into some tax tips. Uh, how did this start out for you? Have you always been interested in numbers? No. No, as a matter of fact, I started off studying marketing and just kind of fell into accounting, met some great people and found out that accounting is more than numbers. So you can ditch the debits and credits and have a lot of fun really changing people's lives, doing what seems to be a very mundane task to most, but really is a tremendous opportunity and is a vehicle to make a huge difference in the lives of so many. Absolutely. And tell me more about MB Group. Uh, did you work your way up or tell me how, how that started for you? So the firm was originally founded back in uh, late 2005. I was the first employee in 2006. So basically since the beginning. Uh, and yeah, I've just built, helped build this business over the course of the last 16 years, working super hard to make sure that we're doing everything we can for our clients in terms of accounting and tax work. But most importantly, building a great team along along with it. So it's just all about you know making sure that we've got the right people helping the the right clients. Yes. Okay. More on her incredible team in a minute. But let's give some tax tips to people. What are some common things that business owners forget to do? So one of the things that they forget to do is they forget to keep good accounting records. When you don't keep good accounting records, it's impossible to make sure that your tax returns are prepared properly. So just have solid accounting processes. Discipline is important. Routine, regular processes that ensure this data is going to be rock solid. Uh, the other thing is, is they don't plan. So they just let tax time sneak up on them, but they let year end go by and they fail to do anything to really save on taxes. Once 1231 passes, you lose a lot of opportunities to make a difference. So make sure you capture those expenses, set up a retirement plan, uh, really talk with your CPA about, are there any other things that I could be doing, whether it's from a risk mitigation standpoint, entity structuring. I mean, we could get into like the weeds on, on taxes, but there are a lot of ideas that the right CPA will bring to you if you ask for their help with planning. Yeah, and not all CPAs really know their taxes the way your firm does. Is that accurate? Yeah, that's true. You know, a lot of CPAs and even tax preparers, accountants, they're very focused on the past. And that's really the accounting and the tax preparation piece. What we're more interested in is changing the future. And that's where planning is the key. You can literally change your client's future as, as a CPA if we focus more on what is to come. And that's, I mean, that's super exciting to me. Yes. I mean, but not every CPA has that perspective. So find an accountant, if you're a business owner, who really thinks that way, because they will transform your life. And I love it that you don't um, speak in tax code. You speak to the common person. That's one of the reasons why the media loves you. Uh, we caught a clip of you on Channel 8. I want to roll that. And I also want to talk to you while we're, while we're watching you on Channel 8 on what does it feel like to be on TV giving uh, tax tips? Is that is that fun? Yeah, I, I love it. I think it's great. We have a real platform to share information with the public that a lot of times it does feel out of reach. Or even when you are you know, looking on Google, you're not quite sure how to enact some of these changes. There's, there are some 
some things that we want to make sure we have the right platform to really convey sure. easy information. This stuff doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be boring, but it can be extremely helpful. Yes. And on this particular segment, uh, what were you talking about? Uh, we were talking about uh, the t upcoming tax preparation season. So this was actually the day of the crazy one ice freeze that we had right. this year. And so everybody just happened to be home. But we were talking about, you know, the home office deduction. So many business owners can take that, but W-2 employees can't. And some of the other challenges, so many gig employees now who are yes. entering, what kind of challenges or opportunities are open to them. So, yeah, it was really, really great to be uh, beyond the news. Uh, love love the experience and and certainly want to continue to share um, our perspective on how accounting and tax can be really different. Absolutely. I want to give you a chance to brag on your amazing team because uh, you made Inc. Magazine's best places to work list this year. Uh, let's put up some pictures and I want you to talk about your team and, and what we're watching here. Yeah, we have an amazing team of professionals. So we are, uh, we're a little different because mm -hmm. we are, we're sort of uh, maybe against the odds here. We are a 100% female owned firm and we're like 97% female staffed at this point. So we have one guy and the rest are all female. So we really do have a unique perspective, the way that we focus on collaboration, all of our values. You can see here, I look at everybody. They're just all those big smiles. Everybody really cares. And that's one of our core values. Uh, just we care. We care about each other. We care about our community. We care about our clients. And that, that to me really shows. Um, this is a 5K or what is that? Yeah, we did a 5K. There's a few of us who went out and um, and Maria in the middle there, she actually uh, won in her age division. Wow, that's <laughs> really cool. And there you go. There's the best places to work uh, Yeah, list. We're so blessed. I mean, I, when, when Inc. Magazine really made that um, announcement, I, I, was, I was really surprised, but also just deeply honored because it really is a reflection of every single person and their effort, their dedication to really the mission of, of our, our company. And that is really just to transform these clients. And so uh, during the hiring process, is that something you're, you're looking for? Empathy and just their ability to uh, play well with others, I guess? Yeah, so our, our core values are think, care, and respond. So we want out-of-the-box thinkers, people who are really harnessing all of their knowledge and the knowledge of others to come up with different solutions, maybe seeing things through a different lens, a different perspective that they might bring, definitely caring, which we talked about, and then responding. So many times I mean, we have to call people and tell them that they owe thousands of dollars sometimes, and that requires a very special type of I don't know, muscle or something. And we, we have to have that ability to be compassionate in our communication and timely and all those other things that business, you know, businesses expect from us. Well, I know you, you have dozens of stories of happy clients. Uh, anyone come to mind in terms of like somebody you really helped? Well, there are many. I mean, I think it, I have to go back and look at the numbers exactly, but in 2020, I mean, we saved clients during year end tax planning, you know, over $2 million. Wow. And I think last year it was over three in 2021. So we spent a lot of time at the end of the year kind of going through this, but I'm thinking of one client in particular where it's just very coachable client. They want to listen. They want all the ideas we have to bring to the table. Uh, no, no idea is a bad idea if it's something that is possible in, in the realm of the tax code. But let's talk about it and let's bring that idea to them so that they can make a determination as to whether or not it's something that they want it to put forth into their tax planning strategy. And we'll make recommendations all day, but ultimately the client gets to decide what's right for them based on where they want to dedicate cash to, what level of complexity they're willing to accept. So we, we go through that process uh, but it's been, for him, it's been extremely monumental because it's, it's kind of spanned this range of accounting, tax, and even business advice that will ultimately result in a significant accumulation of wealth. So you've mentioned having to make that difficult phone call, uh, breaking bad news. What's it like to deliver happy news like we just saved you? Oh, well, that's the best. <laughs> and, and, it, and lately, it hasn't been that hard to do. Fortunately, when you are calling somebody saying, hey, you're eligible for the second round of PPP loan, I can get you another $300,000. I mean, that was great, you know, yes. in the beginning of 2021. Um, and now we're still even seeing, you know, reminding clients, 
it is time for you to go through and look to see if we can get the employee retention credit. I mean, yes. what other things could we be doing? I can't tell you the number of times we talk to a prospective client where they just have not been advised. They're, I mean, almost to the point where I want to cry about all the taxes they've overpaid. Wow. It's so much of it is avoidable, but they think that they are like getting a good deal on their tax return preparation when really that individual who is preparing their taxes is costing them hundreds of thousands of dollars because they're not advising them. Okay, so. almost out of time, Susan. I want you to look in that camera to tell people why they might want to consider uh, talking to you. Yeah, so they should definitely call us if they have tax pain. I'm getting hammered with taxes. There must be absolutely something that I could do differently. That's the person who should call us. My accounting records are a mess in my business. I have no idea how I'm performing. I really need help getting things streamlined. They should call us. So Outstanding. Well, you've been a great guest. Uh, we're going to put your website up to end this segment. It's mbgcpa.com. Susan, thanks for coming on the show. Thanks so much, Jeff. Appreciate you, it. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.